Welcome back. So I think it's time for a little moment of contemplation. Uh, so I'm going to share a couple quotes with you right now. Uh, the first quote comes from uh, a man called Roger Scruton. He's a Christian apologist who talks about the dual nature of our being. Uh, so I think it's undeniable uh, that we exist in sort of a duality of existence, uh, one where um, our experiences are based on our physical senses as well as the contemplations of our mind. Uh, so for that reason, I think it's important that we not discount the importance of the two sides of our existence. So Roger Scruton here says that we don't uh, appreciate uh, the, the art of the fugue by Bach with an acoustical analysis and we can't appreciate the uh, Michelangelo's David uh, with x-ray crystallography. So while the structures of these two different types of art can be, um, can be honed down to these individual uh, atoms or these individual uh, frequencies of tone and pitch or the connections of the different um, molecules and atoms within the structure of the stone, what cannot be reduced uh, to these uh, elements is our joy and our pleasure and our satisfaction from experiencing these pieces of art. So for this reason, we have to pay attention, we have to understand the dual nature of ourselves and the people we interact with on a daily basis. Uh, now, another quote I want to share with you is by uh, Jan Patochka, uh, who um, says in uh, a number of different ways, I have paraphrased here, that the value of life, the importance of life, is found in the thing for which you are willing to sacrifice your own life to save. Uh, so a lot of us... Uh, have trouble finding the purpose in our lives, have trouble uh, realizing what we think is of value. And so I think that this concept uh, points to a way to identify those things. So if you will, I'd like you to um, participate in a little uh, thought exercise with me. Uh, so perhaps uh, if you feel comfortable, close your eyes and imagine uh, yourself standing on top of the tallest skyscraper you can imagine. You look all around and you can't see another building. Uh, everything below the skyscraper is just haze, covered in, in fog and mist. The wind is howling, the wind is, is pushing you around. <clears throat> then suddenly you turn around and you notice another skyscraper behind you and connected between the skyscraper you're on and the other skyscraper is a tightrope. Now imagine what has to be on the other skyscraper that would get you to cross the tightrope to save or to acquire. Do you see uh, your favorite car, uh, keys to your dream home, a suitcase full of thousands of dollars, a million dollars, a billion dollars. Do you see a loved one choking on the top of the skyscraper that you have to go save? <clears throat> so contemplate these sorts of things, and I think you'll understand how much you value your own life by understanding the things for which you are willing to sacrifice your own.